Hello everyone, welcome to Pit of Anatomy. In this tutorial, we will see the histological features of the nervous tissue, the classification of the neurons and the structure of the multipolar neuron. Nervous tissue as such, it is the one which produces the nerve impulses and conducts the nerve impulses which controls all the other basic tissues in the body. So the neuron is the structural and functional unit of the nervous system or the nervous tissue. So if you see parts of the neuron, it contains a cell body, so which mainly contains the nucleus and different cell organelles. It is also called as soma or the perikaryon and the processes, which could be either a dendrite or the axon. So if you see the classification of the neuron based on the structure, so it is classified mainly based on the number of dendrites that are present or the number of poles that are present in the neuron. So one type is called as the unipolar. As the name suggests, it contains a single pole where one single process will arise and that process, it divides into a dendrite and an axon. So some of the examples for this is the dorsal root ganglion or the sensory ganglion. So the next type is the bipolar, which contains two poles on either side of the cell body. So out of which one pole will act as a dendrite and the other acts as an axon. So the example for this is some of the bipolar cells that are present in the retina. So the third type and the most common type is the multipolar. As the name suggests, it contains multiple poles and these multiple poles, they act as dendrites and only one act as an axon. That means there are multiple dendrites and a single axon. So this is the most common type of the neuron which is present in most part of the nervous system. So if you see the structure of the multipolar neuron, so as already described, it contains a cell body and processes multiple dendrites will be present, a single axon will be present and the dendrites will have numerous small short branches. So inside the cell body we can see a nucleus which is situated in the center of the cell in all the nerve cell except the neurons that are present in the sympathetic ganglion and the nucleus becomes eccentric even in the damaged neurons. So in addition to the nucleus, the cell body contains numerous special substances which are called as the nasal granules or nasal substances. So which take up usually the hematoxylin or the basophilic stain. So these nasal substances basically they are nothing but the aggregations of rough endoplasmic reticulum. They synthesize a large amount of protein so which is needed for the functioning of the neuron and they are present in the dendrites or they extend into the dendrites but they don't extend into the axon so they are absent in the axons so this is one of the special substance that is seen only in the nervous tissue so apart from this it contains some regular uh, cell organelles like mitochondria the lysosomes the golgi apparatus and some pigments and centrioles this centrioles in the regular cells it helps in mitotic division whereas in the nervous system since the neuron does not undergo multiplication or it does not uh, multiply these centrioles the major function is to produce the neurofibrils and also the microtubules these neurofibrils they are present throughout the cell body they form the structural framework or the cytoskeleton of the neuron and these neurofibrils, they are more aggregated towards the axon and that region is called as the axon illac. And this aggregation of the neurofibrils in the axon illac, it prevents the entry of nasal substances into the axon. So, and the axons are surrounded by a protective covering called as the myelin sheath, details of which we will see in the next tutorial. So, and the gaps between the myelin sheath it is called as node of ranvier
and the initial part of the axon is called as the initial segment where the nerve impulse will begin. So if you see the features of dendrites and the axons, so this has already mentioned, these are the nerve fibers or the nerve processes or also called as just the nerves. So if you see the major differences, dendrite is usually single or it could be multiple. Axon is always single. So if you see the direction of the impulse in the dendrite, the impulse passes towards the cell body, whereas in the axon it passes away from the cell body. Nissal substances as already mentioned, it will extend into the dendrite but they are absent in the axon because of the aggregation of the neurofibrils at the region of the axon hillock. So if you see the classification based on functions, so one is called as the sensory neuron and the other is called as the motor neurons. So sensory neurons, it receives the information from the peripheral parts of the body, whereas motor neurons, it sends the impulses to the effector organ. And there is one more classification based on the length of the axon. So it is classified into Golgi type 1 neurons where there are long axons. So the pyramidal tract or the corticospinal fibers, they are one of the examples. And Golgi type 2 neurons where there are short axons, usually the interneurons which communicate between the sensory and the motor neurons, they are example for Golgi type 2 neurons. So these are the basic features of the nervous tissue. So in the next tutorial, we will see the features of the peripheral nerve and also the myelination process. Do subscribe for future updates. Thank you.